Okay, today we're going to talk about body cavities. And first of all, they're separated into a bunch of different parts. So if we look over here at the model, you have the front side of the body, which we call the ventral or anterior side, and then you have the back side of the body, this part been or the back side of the body, which is the posterior or dorsal side of the body. So when you're talking about body cavities, we have both ventral cavities and dorsal cavities. We're going to start first by talking about the dorsal cavities. They're obviously going to be located on the back side of the body. Um, and let's start up here with the cranial cavity. The cranial cavity is this cavity that sits inside the cranial vault, which are all the bones of your skull. And of course, the obvious thing that's going to be inside of here is your brain. So you can pull your brain out. That's only half the brain. There's another half that's mirror imaged right there that we're not pulling out. But your brain sits in this uh, dorsal, excuse me, cranial cavity. And then on the brain, I've got a better model here if you want to zoom in on this model, you're going to have a lot of little nerves coming off of it. These are called the cranial nerves. So these are going to be um, just the nerves that come off of the brain or are the ones that we're going to call the cranial nerves. So you have the brain and the cranial nerves. And then your book also outlines or lists that you have what's called the pituitary gland. Now, you've got to imagine these pushed together. This is one gland, so imagine one little pea-sized gland there. And I'm going to pick this up and tilt it how it would be in your head. So it would sit in your head like this. And you've got this little pituitary or this little pea-shaped gland hanging down right in the front. This is called the master gland of your body, and you'll learn a whole lot more about that in 202 but it has its own little bony cavity that it sits in because it's so important. So those are the kind of things that you're going to see in the cranial vault. Then you have, or excuse me, the cranial cavity. Um, then another part of the dorsal cavity that you have is the uh, spinal cavity. In the spinal cavity, you're going to have the spinal cord and the spinal nerves. Now I'm going to pull out these, this little section right here. These are called vertebrae, the bones that surround the spinal cord. So there's the cord, it's this yellow thing. It's about the size of your thumb, but just imagine a cord that runs all the way from the base of the brain, it goes all the way through these bones and down here to the coccyx area. So it's that cord that's running in between those, that's your actual spinal cavity that carries the spinal cord. Then coming out from the spinal cavity, you've got spinal nerves. So at each vertebra, you're going to have a pair of spinal nerves exiting, and then they're going to go out all the way along and innervate all over the front and back of your body, all the way down to your legs and your arms and different things like that. So the dorsal cavity consists of the cranial cavity, which has the brain, and then specifically the pituitary gland. Then the other part of the dorsal cavity is the spinal cavity, which is that cavity that runs in between all of these vertebra. And you have the spinal cord and the spinal nerves coming out from each side. Okay?